Right guys, I've noticed um, a couple of people have been having trouble with my ROMs not working. Um, a lot of it's to do with you haven't got the right system files installed on the computer. For instance, if you've got a fresh install and you install something like Cyberpunk, if it hasn't got the right files in the system, it won't run the game. For instance, Physics X System Legacy, Medal of Honor Airborne for the PC won't work without this one. Open it AL is a really, really small file needed by a couple games, not very many now. And you've got video codexes, a lot of old games use DivX, Wave, there's lots of different formats that certain games need to actually run. First of all, I'm going to show you lab filters. These are only needed really by Sega Rally 3, the arcade version, because without them it crashes. So we're going to install this first. Just leave them all ticked. Go to next. 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 Install. And at the end you want to tick Open Lab Video Configurator. Go to Formats. Just make sure that one at the bottom is unticked. And click Apply. Then OK. Now we're going to go to the video codexes. We're going to install K-Lite Mega Codex Pack. This has got pretty much, well, I think it's got every single video codex you need. And it also puts on a, um, a program, Media Player Classic. And it's a very, it's, I think it's better than VLC player. Because it's easier to stretch the screen and stuff like that with it. So I'm going to double click on it. And I'll do a fresh install. Because I've already got it on there, I could have updated or modified. I'm going to do a fresh install, you click next, see here you have Media Player Classic, this is the video player, which is really really good. So now I'm going to go to next, 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 next again and just keep these how they are you can choose your audio format I've got a amp but I'm going to keep it on 2.1 because it separates it through my amp next yep long winded install And we want to run Codec Tweak Tool. I've got it here separately. And that's just in case it doesn't work properly or anything. But could you have got it separately? And go to Finish. Right here, you want to go to to Preferred Decoders on the bin thirty two side. You scroll down to. Here, we have media view one. Have it as unknown. It should come up lab filters, uh, but the unknown is lab filters if it doesn't come up lab filters. And you want that on number one, number two, number three, and number four. Then apply and close. So that one makes say rally work, and obviously lots of other games if you haven't got them installed. Visual C. Always been a bit of a weird one Visual C because you, if you install the brand new one which is supposed to install all of them it doesn't. You can be missing one file from 2005 and it, the game still won't work. 
so on this one you go install all dot bat and you double click on that one and you might get some that will pop up says it doesn't need it or it failed if it does that don't worry about it So that's done now. Now we're going to do the same with the DirectX one, which is I don't I can't remember if you got bat file on here. I don't think you have. I think it's just the single one file. Just having a quick look. No, so it's just that one. So now that one's finished. And you got Physics X System Legacy. These are for real world versions. So you'll you'll have fresh install. Not supported now, it's probably because I've already got mine on there. But you can do it that way. And then the last one you have is open AL and this is like done <laughs> that's it but you know without that little program some games won't work so guys you know if you have any issues then I'll leave a link to where you can download this pack but I'll put it actually on the actual video itself because this one's legit well I hope you enjoyed Hey guys, cheers.